what's your reaction to this story that essentially Tim seems to have gotten money from Russian assets, essentially, who want there to be more anti-Ukraine content out there? Well, most of the production on the right supports, you know, unfortunately, you know, what Russia wants to sell. Now, me personally, I I've talked about this before, but that's because the American right, what they want to do is have a fascist alliance. The fascists in Europe and America rightly believe that Putin is the leading fascist leader in the world. That's the reality. OK, and so they want to persuade Putin to abandon China and join the United States and Europe in a petro alliance uh, where Russia provides cheap gas and oil to Europe and cuts off China. This is all about creating a block of sufficient strength to attack and contain China because they rightfully see China's model of state capitalist development led by a communist party to be a legitimate threat to U.S. hegemony in the world. China's development has reached a point where its economy and military are going to start being capable of challenging and even surpassing the United States. So in order to arrest that growth, the United States is far right. What's the ally with Putin? And they're willing to give up Ukraine. They don't give it. They're like, who gives a fuck about Ukraine? Let's give Putin Ukraine. Let's copy Putin's method of governance in America, let's crack down on the left, let's crack down on racial and ethnic and sexual minorities and do this kind of like Christian nationalist alliance with Europe, the United States and Russia and, and try to contain China. That's what they're trying to do. OK, it's not very complicated. In fact, there's a certain logic to it. It's not a completely crazy idea. The alternative of like what allying with uh, Europe against Russia and China. The Biden administration strategy is they see Russia and China as too uh, naturally linked to oppose. They're going to try to destroy uh, Russia and China's economies through sanctions and financial uh, hampering uh, trade. They want to physically contain China through alliances with Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Australia, Vietnam, India. They have like a southern containment strategy where the United States lines up with, you know, the Philippines, et cetera, to contain China and the South China Sea and, you know, get uh, Europe to stop trading with China, bottle up China's economy, and then hopefully put it into recession or stagnation, which will undermine the Communist Party's domestic support, right? Because the Chinese Communist Party has said to the people of China, hey, as long as we keep making your life better year after year, you will continue to support us as the, the party that governs China. And that's the deal that the Chinese people have made with the Chinese Communist Party, which is like, as long as our lives are better than the year before, you have legitimacy. And, you know, President Xi has like insane approval rating among Chinese people. Like he's legitimate in the eyes of the Chinese people. There's no doubt about that, according to the to the evidence. Doesn't mean that they're, you know, Chinese people love their government or, and are all like, you know, communist cadre or something. But that seems to be what the evidence from places like Harvard indicates is that for the most part, the national Chinese government is pretty well supported by the Chinese people. Europeans genuinely hate Russians. Not going to happen. Uh, I mean, JP Swede, I'm just telling you what the what the strategy that the right wing wants. And here's the thing. I happen to agree with you. I don't I think Eastern Europeans are incre are Nazis and they don't want anything to do with uh, especially the ones that are bordering Russia, right? Like for the most part, they're not interested in having any of these kind of alliances.